is lab 19, which is a 40 yard dash test. Um, now, typically, uh, I replace that with a six second dash test um, because it's easier to run the six second dash with a lot of people at one time than it is to run a 40 yard dash, I think, anyway. Um, and uh, I thought I had a copy of the six second dash sheet up on Blackboard for you, but it isn't there, I've just checked. So I will take a picture of this when I get home and put that up so you have this as an option always. Remember, you want as many tools as you can in your, in your toolbox or in your tool, tool belt. All right, so the six second dash um, takes a while to set up. You need a long tape, you need lots of cones um, at two yard, I think two yard distances. Um, but you can run, you know, four or five people at the same time. Um, a 40 yard dash, really you can only do one person at a time unless you've got more than one person acting as the timer with a stopwatch, right? Um, so that, that's why I would normally flip them around. Although I do think that for you guys to try at home, that 40 yard dash is a lot simpler um, to do. And if you look at the procedures, um, you want a distance, obviously, of 40 yards mapped out in the park or on a track if you live near a track or something like that. Um, you'll need a friend to, with a mask, of course, that you socially distance from, um, unless it's a family member that you live with, um, to come and time you. But um, I think that that's a lot, that's not going to take that much time. Make sure that you warm up properly first, all right? Because this is a power event. To do this properly, you've got to run as fast as you can from go, right? So you don't want to power off and get hurt, right? Or pull a hamstring or anything like that. So it's important to do a little bit of warm up for this one first, okay? And then when you go through your 40 yard line, your partner will stop the clock. Don't try to stop too suddenly, all right? Slow down, run through and slow down because if you try to stop very suddenly when you've been running that fast, you can blow your knee out, right? There's too much force to stop that speed, all right? So run through and slow down. Okay, um, it says to repeat for a total of three trials and pick the fastest one. Now, I said at the beginning of the semester, and this still holds true for me, right? You don't have to complete these workbook sheets completely accurately, all right? I'm not looking for accurate data. I'm trying to introduce you to a variety of different assessments that are out there to measure things that we're talking about in class. All right. So if you want to do three, that's up to you. If you want to do just one, that's fine. All right. Um, hopefully your partner can take a little bit of film while you're running as well as do the stopwatch. Um, and that would be fun, then I get to watch you run. All right. So then we've got to link this back to classwork. All right. Um, so think about how long is it going to take you to run 40 yards, okay? I've never done a 40 yard dash test, so I have no idea, but I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, what's normal? For normal people? 
a 40 yard dash? Five to six. Five to for six normal, seconds. For normal people, probably. Okay. <laughs> so like six. So for me, probably eight seconds because I'm really slow. Um, so uh, eight seconds. All right. Which energy system is eight seconds? Do we have Chris in yet? Oh, we have Alexis. Alexis, you're up. What energy system? Predominantly provides ATP for six to eight seconds. Can you hear me? Uh-oh. Alexis, can you hear me? Are you there? No. Okay. So that would be the ATP PC system. Yes, it's kind of printing on my internet. Oh, okay. Yeah, internet connection is a bit wobbly. Okay, so that's going to be ATP PC system, system number one, right? Produces energy for short, high intensity activities, right? So ATP PC system, which is why they tell you to rest for three minutes or more in between attempts at your 40 yard dash. So if you are gonna do more than one go at it, you need to rest for at least three minutes before you have another go. Because you've got to put your ATP and your phosphocreatine back together again to give your full attempt at a second go. Right? So you have to give enough recovery time there to rebuild your ATP and your phosphocreatine. All right? So it's important to take enough rest in between trials. Okay? Which muscle fiber type is going to be predominant for this test? Can you give that one a go, Alexis? Do you have a good enough connection there? Which muscle fiber type would I use for a short, fast, high intensity activity? So it's going to be predominantly, almost totally actually for this event, your type 2X fibers, all right? So for people who are very good at endurance, so if you scored really, really high on the one and a half mile walk jog, chances are you won't score really high on the 40 yard dash. Because if you did really well at that long distance, well, one and a half miles isn't too long, but if you did really well on that one, then you might have more type 1 fibers. And to do really well on this, you need a lot of type 2X. And type 2X can't do oxidative work, aerobic work, so you would have done not great on the one and a half mile test, okay? So keep thinking all the time, right? How does that, it's not just, I need to know what assessment tools are out there for fitness, I need to know what I'm assessing, right? Tie it back to the theory and the working class, okay? Um, so uh, do the 40 yard dash, but I will um, make sure that I put up a copy of the six 
second dash so that you've got two options in your toolbox. Okay? Um, and I'll open up a participation assignment there, all right, so that you can um, load a little bit of film and load your, your worksheet. Okay? Uh, what else? Uh oh, Alexis's connection died completely. That's a shame. Okay, so anything else? I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Um, tomorrow in class we will finish. Um, I can't remember the chapter number, but we'll finish the exercise prescription chapter. And yeah, I think that's it for today. So have fun. It's going to be quite warm for the next few days, so this is a good time to get out and get this sprint test done while it's warm. And um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow hopefully. And then we'll be coming up next Monday, we'll start the fluid and electrolytes chapter. Okay, so have a great day. Bye.